Hello and welcome to this AC Delco eBit. In this eBit, I'm going to show you the connection feature called Vehicle Inspections. Vehicle Inspections is basically a multi-point inspection that you can build yourself or you can download recommended ones that you can still edit, add, and make changes to. And what these are for is to help you increase business and build customer confidence. To start, I'm going to pick a vehicle out of my previous vehicles. I'll grab this Tahoe. And you'll see here we have the Vehicle Inspection tab. I'll click that, and when you first start this, you won't have any inspections built yet. So I'll show you how to build one, and I'll also show you how to add a pre-built one. So I'll go ahead and click the gear up here in the upper right corner, and you'll see you have no inspections yet. So I'm going to add one. Now when you add, it's going to pull up every part that can be looked up by application. So I'm just going to do a quick one for brake pads and rotors. So I'll say brake pad, and I will grab the front and I will grab the rear, and then I'll also put in brake rotors, and I will grab the same, I'll grab the front and the rear, and we'll just call that good for now for this demonstration. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add the new inspection, and I'll just call it pads and rotors, and I'll add that. Now you'll see here that I have the new inspection, pads and rotors. I can delete a part out of it if I choose to, if I edit, I can change the name of it. I can add more parts to it. I can add a note. And this is a nice feature because this is something you can add an inspection for something that is not application based, like tire tread depth or chips in the windshield, something like that that you may also repair at your shop. I'll go ahead and add a note and I'll just put tire tread depth and I'll add it. And you'll see here now it's added, it looks a little different because it is a note. And I'll exit the admin, and now I have this one in here for my inspections. You can also go to download recommended. Now these are ones that are offered to you. After you add them, you can still change them. You can add parts, you can remove things, you can change the name, whatever you want to do. I'll go ahead and grab this vehicle health inspection. So now that's been added. I'll go switch back to vehicle inspections. And now you see they're both in here. If I want to edit this, I would go right back to that gear. It would go into the edit screen like we'd just seen before, and you can do anything you want with this as far as name, adding, removing inspection points. From here, you can set a default. So if there are multiple that you may have set up, but there's one you commonly do, you can go in and set which one you would commonly do. So that'll always float to the top. And you can reorganize these as well in the administration mode. When you're ready to start an inspection, you can either print a blank inspection sheet to hand to the person in the shop and they can fill it out by hand using a pen or pencil to hand it back to the person to order the parts. Or if they have the capabilities, they can use a phone, tablet, laptop to access it digitally and do a digital inspection. I'll show you that one now and also explain the two different user types. Currently I'm logged in as a non-ordering user, meaning they can do the inspection, but they can't actually order the parts. So I'll start the inspection. You see there's no new ones here, so I'll start new. And we'll go through, I'll put in a customer's name. I could add some notes and that, do it if I like. Um, for this example, I'm just not going to, just for the sake of time. We're gonna say the air filter is good, they need new battery, brakes are good, uh, they need new windshield wipers in the front, back is good, oil's okay, and the tires are kinda iffy. You know, we can say, Check the tread next visit. And then I'm gonna recommend that these parts be ordered. So when this hands over to the person who can order, they'll know that I'm recommending these parts be ordered. So I'll go ahead and save this. And you can see it's saved. And now what I'm gonna do is log out as this user and I'm gonna log back in as an ordering user. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm logged as a different user now, one that can actually order the parts and not just do inspections. Currently, the way to find them, you have to go to My Vehicles, the look of the vehicle the inspection was just done for, and then go to Vehicle Inspections. When you come in here, you'll see that there's the little yield sign saying that this has an open inspection that's not completed. In the future, we are adding a tab that will be located somewhere up here between My Vehicles and Fleet, we believe and will be all the inspections, so you don't have to go to the vehicle then find the inspection. All the inspections will be listed right there for the vehicles. 
Now inspections are saved. So if they come in multiple times, it will have a history of the inspections done. So you can look to see the previous inspection, if anything needed to be looked at on the current one. So it is nice to have that history for the customers. I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one back up as an ordering user. You can see here that it still has the attention thing. So I'm gonna edit. And I'll look and say, okay, these should, were recommended to be ordered. So I'll go ahead and click this and click this and you'll see it added to display parts. So like a regular connection, it's adding it to the parts result. So you can order them right from here. So I'm gonna go ahead and display the parts. It'll take me right to the catalog so I can order them. So I can add the battery into the cart. And then I can skip over and look at just the wipers. And I'll go ahead and grab those from a different location that are available and add those to the cart. And now you'll see everything's in my cart and I can go ahead, I can order the parts and have them delivered so we can complete the repairs on the customer's vehicle. Now when I go back into the inspection, if I pull the vehicle back up, you'll see it no longer has the yield sign telling you that there are no open inspections on that. Again, in the future, we will have that tab up here to make it easier to navigate. Also on the inspections, you can print them out for the customer. In the future, we'll be adding an email function to email it to them. And we'll also be adding a part so you can include your name at the top of it like we do with our estimate views. I hope you find the vehicle inspections feature helpful and I hope you found this video helpful. We'd like to thank you for using Connection. Until next time.